Padres hosting the Marlins on Independence Day, and they are wearing their camouflage uniforms to honor the servicemen. Chris Young, so strong there in the seven strikes. That Josh Willingham, Jeremy Mita, Miguel Oliva. No, Young, seven innings, no runs, nine Ks. You know, his initials are CY. That, that spells Psy. Marlins defense looking sharp in the eighth. We still have no score. Michael Barrett grounds to Alfredo Mezaga. Great pick, great throw. Take another look here. Mezaga. I mean, that is deep, practically behind third base. Pitchers like that kind of stuff. Amano Benitez. Yeah, you're my man. Still no score. Through eight, we go bottom nine. Two on now. Hiram Boca Chica lays down a bunt. Miguel Olivo. Uh, no, we're safe at third. Mike Cameron was let off with a double. So the bases are Chuck Kevin Kuzmanov over to third. We throw home. Olivo cannot handle the throw. Can't come up with it. The Padres are going to come up with a one nothing win. It is their 12th shutout victory this season. Chris Young just can tied with the Padres. First place out west. Mark Hendrickson dealing. Also had to put Randy Wolf on the DL shoulder soreness. The Braves Jared Salgalamagia grounds one of the whole Rafael for Cal. That is deep short. That is a long throw to first. And James Loney on the stretch at the other end. Good teamwork all around. Scoreless in the fifth. Runners in second and third. Chipper up the middle. Chuck James and Yale Escobar come around to score. Bravo's a 2 0 lead. Up 4 2 in the top of the seventh. Andrew Jones off Chin Wei Sao. Get out of town. For Andrew, just his 14th homer of the season, Braves a 5-2 lead. Almeida signs the plate against Bob Whit Whitman. And Whitman able to close the door, signs, check swing. Braves able to hang on to win 5-2. Time back. A sniff back in the West. Game and a half as they play three of their four in St. Louis. Top five, runner on. D-backs up 2-1. LeVon Hernandez tries to sack punt, but look at Yadier Molina. Starts a 2-6-3 double play. It is time to play Name Your Molina. Alertly here, gets it before it Benji. bounces again and goes foul. No, Yadier. I always guess Benji. Yadier. No, no. I'm waiting for somebody to guess Gustavo. Top seven, Hernandez. Levon, he's pitching. He's hitting. Big crank. Two run shot. Gives himself a 4 1 lead. First of the season, ninth in his career, but the cards are battling back. Juan Encarnacion ties it at four, and then he's on base from Scott Rowland. Doubles to left. Burns, he can't handle it. There's Encarnacion, round and third, headed for home. He's a brown eyed, handsome man. Chuck Berry's from Winsville. Cardinals win it by a count of five. Four. They have now. Hot dogs eat just regular like at the Indians Tigers game. Jim Leland's club. Uh, they lead the AL with 189 runs scored with two outs. And in the fourth, we got a two out spot for the Tigers. 3 1. Curtis Granderson. Not Anderson, I said Granderson doubles off the wall. Sure scores Sean Casey, 42nd RBI for Curtis, 4 1 Tigers. Next man up, Placido Polanco. Lines one to right. Franklin Gutierrez appears to make the grab, but in baseball they would like you to hold on to the ball and secure it for the whole time. So that's, that's actually a free ball play on. Granderson will score, 5 1 Tigers. Travis Hafner, five career homers on the 4th of July, most among active players, and in the seventh, Hafner, former driller, off McKay McBride. That's out of the park. I think parfaits might be the most delicious thing on the whole planet. Hafner's sixth homer on the fourth, 14th of the year, cuts the lead to one. Bottom seven, two outs, following a Carlos Guillen triple. Von Rodriguez playing in his 2001st career game as a catcher. Triples to right center, 43rd career triple. You know, scores six four. Tigers. Kenny Rogers improves to three and zero. Oh. All right, the Devil Rays were staring at a 10-game losing streak if they couldn't hit the knuckleball Wednesday in Boston. Edwin Jackson on the mat, bottom of the first. Squeeze! Alex Cora, squeeze, bunt, Coco Crisp. Scores easily, Red Sox the early one left lead. Red Sox enjoying a 5-1 lead in the bottom of the fifth. Mike Lowell, get out of town. 13th home run for him into the monster seats. Sox had a 7-1 lead, game's over, right, raw. Top of the seventh, base is loaded. Devil Rays rally. Carl Crawford, who had his 900th career hit in this one. That's a two-run double. It was 7-3. It would be 7-5. Jonathan Kappelbaum in. And you know the deal. Strikes out Brayton Harris. Devil Rays do suffer their 10th consecutive loss. See, you know how many times the Yankees have beaten Santana? Never. Zero. Bottom second, Hideki Matsui off Santana's solo home run. 
pass. So much for statistics, right? Yankees tied at one. Matsui's ninth. We go to the fifth. Santana help from defense. Melky Cabrera lays down the bunt. And Punto. Look at Punto. I mean, he, he, the leap of death as he's throwing this ball. Excellent work by him. Bare hand. Gets all dirty. Excellent play. Let's go to the seventh. We're still tied up at two. Runner on second. Jason Kubel rips this one from Yusina, and it just keeps going and going until it's a souvenir for people who paid for tickets and are sitting out there. His sixth year, 4-2 Twins, they go on to win it by a count of 6-2. The ballpark Mets had a nice lead in Colorado, 3-0, and then all of a sudden they didn't. Orlando Hernandez, 200th career start, and here's something you don't see in the department. How about that, the EFAS pitch with the bases loaded to Todd Helton, two down. Same at bat on a 3-2 count, another EFAS pitch. Again, that was on a 3-2 count. He threw that. Helton had five RBIs in the game. That one. Next batter is Garrett Adkins. Grounds the short. Jose Reyes tries the jump throw. Airmail job. Two-run score. Now, Reyes I might have to play at third. Might have to play at second. But he tries to go to first. Rockies a 6-3 lead on the Reyes error. They had a 10-4 lead. And Atkins off Guillermo Mota. Get out of town. Atkins had five RBIs. Rockies score six in the fifth. Sweep the series. Game of interest began at 105 local time. Phillies, Houston, second straight series. The Phillies went to the final game hoping to avoid a sweep. Jimmy Rollins asked me. He is an all-star caliber player. Solo home run in the fifth. His 15th of the year. Phillies lead 3-1. Why is this night not in San Francisco? Rookie all-star Cole Hamels, bases loaded, jam. Lance Berkman, though, pops up out of trouble. By the way, Cole Hamels, if you eat 66 hot dogs, he could eat 70. He had seven innings pitched, eight Ks, one earned run. Ryan Howard, the big man, unloads. This fellow just does not hit wall scrapers. Off Mark McLemore is 20th of the year. Bills lead 6-1. They win 8-3. Just they cruised along. And Brewers, Milwaukee perhaps starting to feel a little heat from the Cubbies down south. Top first, two on, no outs. Super rookie Ryan Braun. Homers off Ian Snell. Braun's eighth home. The Brewers take a 3-0 lead. Brewers fail to hold 3-0 lead. Snell, by the way, gave up nothing to the crew from there. Top six, it's 3-3. Runners on the corners. Jeff Jenkins bounces to second. Nice stop by Freddie Sanchez. We're going the other way. 4-6-3. Double play. Brewers cannot take the lead. In the six, tied at three. Adam LaRoche. You see that big 3-0 count? Yeah. Yeah. Turn me loose, I say. He gets the green light and he hits it towards a bridge. His 11th of the year. Pirates win 5-3. Went for the second straight day. The crew 13 and 25 now, all time on the fourth. All right, Demetri Young and the Nats hadn't scored more than three runs in 10 straight games. Trying to fix that against the Red Hot Cubbies on Wednesday. Top of the third, Alfonso Soriano is batting. He fouls one off. Here's Demetri, the big fella. Gives you the A effort, just just can't get there. Two batters later, here's Derek Lee, and it's another chance for Dimitri. Foul ball. Young, in plenty of time this time, makes the grab. Stumbles to the turf, end of the inning. Bottom of the fifth, base is loaded, but this is what Dimitri does best with his bat. Dimitri Young, five career grand slams, make it six. Eighth homer of the season. Cubs have now lost three straight July 4th games. Giants Reds, Barry Bonds resting day game after night game. And you know he's got 751 career home runs. Ian Ken Griffey Jr. chatting it up. Didn't have time to talk about this. Singles to center, Scott Hatterberg. Brandon Phillips score. Reds up 3-0. Top 4-3-1, Matt Villar has the bases loaded. Fred Lewis, oh, you've got to have the money ball. Bonds on the bench, and the Giants crank four home runs. This is the second slam of the year for Lewis. Giants up 5-3. Matt Kane then, 11th pitch. Got him. That goes down Phillips, finally. Long at bat. That's pretty good. Kane, five and two-thirds, four runs, six Ks. The Giants win did not hit three home runs. The Angels continue to uh, play down to their level of competition. Two and five against the Royals, the Orioles, and the other bottom feeders here. Reggie Willis not hitting like a guy who lives in a batting game. Jerry Harrison Jr., nice play there at second. Take away a base hit. Extension, throw. That is a top play nominee. Top eight Angels down three, two. Howie Kendrick. Getting in there, feeling good, right? Howie, whoa, swing and a drive. There goes the bat, look out. Fan, pleased enough, not injured, I'll take it, keep it, right? And Joaquin Benoit, <laughs> my serious turns, he loses his bat. Fellas, pine tar, just go over and grab uh, 
Vlad Guerrero's helmet, right? That'll help you hang on to something. There's Vlad. Line out to right to end the game. Eric Gagne closing it out. Angels lose again. 4-2 is the final. Would the Royals have anything left? They scored 17 runs against the Mariners on Tuesday night. Rookie of the month of June, Brian Battister and Casey looking for their first three-game home sweep with Seattle since June of 92. Adrian Beltre rips a double in the first down the line. Two runners come around to score, so it's already 4-0 Seattle. On to the bottom of the fifth. Jared Washburn was in cruise control. Gets Alex Gordon swinging in the eighth. Washburn still in there, still cruising. Eight scoreless for him. Ross Glow is chasing there. Bottom nine, first and third. J.J. Boots in to close it out. And gets Alex Gordon to ground in his double play. Royals are the first team since the 0-4 Royals. Score 17, one game. None the next. John McLaren, his first win. 195 with Reds. At number nine, the Cubs and Nats. Mark DeRosa, fly to center. Nook Logan. Nice diving grab. Check out Nook. National six zip winner. Number eight, Nathan's hot dog eating contest and six time champ Kobayashi goes down by three dogs. Joey Chestnut, new world record. 66 hot dogs in 12 minutes. 66. At number seven, look at this. I mean, nearly took off Kenny Rogers' head. Travis Hacker did. Carlos Guillen in the right spot at the right time. Great shift. Great play, great throw. More from this game later. Great scouting. Number six, Twins Yankees. Derek Jeter. Punto. Backhand throw across the body. Got him. You know, Jeter, he does this to other people, so once in a while, you know, turn about fair play. And a number five, the 2014 Winter Olympics. Who's going to get it? The International Olympic Committee has the honor of announcing that the 22nd Olympic Winter Games in 2014 are awarded to the city of Sochi. The chief executive officer called it one of the most important days in Russia's history. Number four, Indians, Tigers, Ivan Rodriguez, grounder, Johnny Peralta makes the driving, diving stop in the flip. Huh? That starts a good double play there. We look at it again, the Indians, losers. Oh, I got you rolling. Number two, Dimebacks, Cardinal Scott, Harrison ground a third there, Scott rolling. Well played. Grab it, gets up. Throws from the 10 and 1 Brad Penny of the Dodgers dealing with LA one game back in the division leading Padres. Chipper Jones takes one high and deep, or well, he just takes one high for a ball. Penny appears to have a blister on his right index finger, but he's tough. He'd stay in the game. Facing Jeff Francoeur in the second. And this one's not coming back. If it's fair, it's gone. Frank Cora is ninth of the year. Braves up one nothing. They'd add two more runs in the inning. Here's Penny, the pitcher being a hitter, knocks it through. Penny, the hitter, went two for two with three RBIs. Penny, the pitcher, not so good. Six earned in four innings. Ouch. Here's Chipper in the sixth, facing Eric Stoltz. Fastball to left center, out. Chipper's 14th of the year. Braves up 7-6. In the eighth, it's Jones again. He gives up a shot to Chipper Jones. Pierre going back. The wall, that ball is out of here. Number 372 for Chipper Jones, and that's your all-time Atlanta Braves home run leader. The 372 more than any other Braves as the team moved to Atlanta. Hank Garrett at 335 is an Atlanta Brave. As for San Diego, Jake Peavy on the bump. Nine wins, ERA 2.09. He's allowed just two homers this season. Top first, Dan Ugla. That's not a home run. That's a strikeout. Miguel Cabrera. This is not a home run. That's a strikeout. That was, oh, that was nasty. Top four, Marlins lead 2-1. Jeremy Hermita takes Peavy deep. That Peavy's gopher ball total now up to three. Hermita's eighth of the year. Peavy would go seven innings, three earned, six Ks. All right, but not his best. Marlins led 3-1. We go to the ninth. Jose Cruz Jr. in a 3-2 game. Takes Kevin Gregg deep. Well, yeah, even warning track shots are impressive with Petco. Uh, but they don't give you points for those. Marlins win 3-2. Young Young Kim beats Peavy. Including their series, Arizona looking to move a game and a half behind the Padres with Doug Davis on the bump. Four and four, 11 career games against the Cards. Juan Encarnacion in the bottom of the sixth. Get out of town. Cardinals had a 3-0 lead, and 
Truth be told, before we even get to the end of the highlight, I'll tell you that's all the offense they needed. Jason Isringhausen in for the save with a runner on first and a one-run lead. Steven Drew to left center, ground will double. So Connor Jackson has to stop at third. It's a lucky break for the card. Second and third after intentional walk. Miguel Montero hits a ground ball to second. The fifth double play turned by the Cardinals. Adam Wainwright allowed just two runs over seven innings. He's seven and seven. Giants Reds, final game of the 1300 home run series. Each team with a win. Bonds, he's 1 0 still over Junior in the first. Man on first and second. Ross Monroe gets Bonds to foul out to the catcher, except David Ross can't hang on to it. Watch Bonds. Yep, that's it. I'm out. I'm going back to the dugout. And then the fans are like, no, go back. Barry, it's a, don't go towards the lights. It, you're, it, you get another shot. All right, later in the at bat, well, that's not so good. Instead of making one out, he just made two. Lines to Brandon Phillips, who snares it. We get a double play, inning over. Bottom two, two nothing Reds. Ken Griffey Jr. at the plate, got two ducks on. Griffey, shot to right center. Ballpark will hold it, which is rare at that one in Cincy. Josh Hamilton, Brandon Phillips come to score Griffey into second. Reds lead four and up. Top four Giants down 5 1 after advancing to second on a Ryan Klesko single. Bonds clearly in some pain, trying to stretch it out there later in the inning. Goes home on a Rich Aurelia single, but Bonds, not exactly Carl Lewis there, sort of cruising cautiously to home. He would stay in the game, however. Top eight Giants down 6 3. John Langus. It's Bonds looking. Bonds one for four, run and a K. The Reds win at 6 3. Uh, the guy who homered. Looking to make a statement to Jim Leland for the All-Star Game. Well, if he did, he whispered it. Carlos Guillen, three-run shot to left. Sabathia, hanging it. Guillen, banging it. Get out, take another look. That's up in the zone. Guillen parks it. Tigers take a 5-2 lead. On the other side, Verlander in the fourth. Feeling it. Johnny Peralta, Uncle Charlie, no shot. Then Ryan Garko. You can see that's the change you dismissed. And then Trot Nixon. Verlander drops the deuce on him there, and Verlander strikes out the side in the fourth. Tigers up 5-2. Home half of the fourth, Gary Sheffield. Two run, his 20th homer of the season. Season high, seven runs allowed for Karsten Charles. Not a major league best 13th win. Verlander does get his 10th. The Angels, Kevin Escobar, already with a career high for wins before the All-Star break. He's 9-3, but he was rocked in his last outing for seven earned and four and a third. But he was looking good against the Rangers. Got Brad Wilkerson, got Gerald Laird. On to the top of the fifth, tied to one, Jose Molina. Singles to right off Robinson Tejeda. Garrett Anderson would score, so the Halos have a 2-1 lead. Escobar still strong, bottom of the fifth. Brad Wilkerson, we'll see you later. Escobar, seven innings, eight strikeouts, one earned. He's 4-0 in his last six starts. Meiser is Turris in the top of the six, lines down the right field line, a little bobble. That was Garrett Anderson to score. Angels avoid being swept. John Main, a chance to get to double-digit wins for the All-Star break. The Mets began a series in Houston. Top first, Jose Reyes had a leadoff triple, and Ricky Lede just with some good aim, bounces it around there off the bag and off Lance Berkman. He's safe. Reyes scores. Mets up 1-0. Main rolling along. Lance Berkman, no, and he doesn't want the bat anymore either. Taking a look. There you go. And Carlos Lee in the Don. Management is not responsible for objects flying into the on-deck circle. Bottom six, one out. Mets 5-0. Carlos Lee, foul tip. Main career best 9K, 7 and 2 thirds innings pitched in the top of the night. Wonderful things happen when you can take the bat off your shoulder. Carlos Beltran, former Astro with the home run, is 15. Mets win 6 2. Main wins number 10. Mets win for the first time in July. Josh Beckett's won 11 games this season, but he's just 1 and 2 with an ERA over 5 against the Devil Rays. Tampa Bay riding a 10 game losing streak into Fenway. Beckett gets Akinori Iwamura. The next batter, Carl Crawford. The next batter, Brandon Harris. We'll see you later. First five outs of the game, all Beckett strikeouts. Here's the Boston offense. Bases loaded for Coco Crisp. Not anymore. Grand slam off J.P. Howell. In the bottom of the second, with first and second, Mike Lowell, a three-run shot of his own at his first career five-hit game. Also had five RBIs, 9-0 Boston. Top of the fifth. Beckett gets Ty Wigginton to get out of a jam. Ninth strikeout of the game for Beckett, a season high. Deanna Navarro, slow chopper to first. Eric Hinsky can't make the throw to Beckett, and Navarro collides with Beckett at the bag. Face to shoulder, Navarro is shaken up by the play. Beckett hung around, and in between innings, Hideki Okajima, congratulated by the faithful for being elected to the All-Star team. 
Trying to make it three out of four against Minnesota. A-Rock can only watch as the team gave up a 5-2 lead. We're in the eighth, and we had a tight spot here. 5-5, Pat Nishek facing Hideki Matsui. Matsui, oh, get out. There are people out there, you know. They'll catch it. Tenth of the season, Yanks lead 7-5. All right, two-run lead, right? Just bring her home. Things are good. Top nine. Wins it easy for the Yanks. Jason Kubel, base hit to right up the middle. Past Derek Jeter. The Twins are threatening. Later in the frame, Yanks have seven, six, two outs. Mariana Rivera facing Michael Kadire. Kadire, Kadire, he's on fire. He thinks he's got ball four. Yanks appeal to first. Wally Bell says strike three, game over. Yanks win seven, six, Rivera, 424. For the Brewers needing another to stop the Cruz road slide. Pittsburgh trying to make it three out of four in this series. Bottom third, Adam Roche trying to make it three out of four in this series. With a man on, the one nothing lead now becomes three nothing in favor of the Buccos. LaRoche is 12th in the seventh. There's so much fun hitting one off sheets. He thought, well, Carlos Villanueva pop one off him. That's his 13th. Cards win 6-3. Sheets, second loss since May 1st. Tom Gorzlani gets win number nine. All right, that Brewers loss means another chance for the Cubs to gain ground in the Central. Look who was taken in the Cubs and Nats. That's the president, George W. Bush, on hand for a surprise visit to the ballpark. Dimitri Young in the bottom of the sixth. Hits one to right. That scores Ryan Zimmerman. Dimitri going for three. Are you kidding me? Rather exhausted. He's more of a doubles or home run guy. Top of the seventh, tied at two. Mike Fontenot, the base hit. Cubs go on to win 4 2. They've won for the 11th time now in the last 13 games. M's and A's. Chad Godin, 7 and 3, 2 9 2 ERA. That's fourth in the American League. Mayor's up 2 1. Godin gets Unesky Betancourt there. He goes 7 2 thirds, allowed just two earned runs. And the six, Nick Swisher against Miguel Batista. Swisher going big fly. Solo home run is 11th of the season, ties it to two, and it's also a solo celebration. We go down memory lane when he and Milton Bradley, they used to like the nightlife and like the boogie, and he's just going to have to do it all by his lonesome now, isn't he? Mm. I think we all miss Milton there in Oakland. Three batters later, Bobby Crosby takes Batiste to deep as well. That's his seventh. The Athletics are going to win it 3-2. Godin gets his eighth victory of the season. We'll have no more dancing from you. Might lead to card playing. Here on Sports Center, Steve will do number nine. It means I start at number ten. Fred, Reggie Willits, Chopper, Ron, Mayhay, Night. Oh, you know he has his own song. Na 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 na. Ron, you met Willits. Oh no, he, he sleeps in a batting cage. Devil Rays and Red Sox coming in at number nine. Doug Mirabelli fouls it back. Watch the one-handed grab. Now you'd get more credit for not spilling a drop if your drink was still pretty full, but looked pretty empty from here. At number eight, AT and T. The National, round one, Andrew Buckle, young Australian, got that. He's even in the first round. At number seven, Twins and Yanks, Jason Bartlett at bat. Derek Jeter in the hole, the traditional jump throw. Yeah, like Jeter's not going to get that call at Yankee Stadium. That's Jeter being Jeter. And the Yankees a 7-6 winner. Number six, Copa America, Colombia, USA. James Castellan, rocket header. Colombia wins one zip. USA, three straight losses. They are out of the tournament. Guys. Uh, more people, boogie. Nick Swisher needs these guys to have dance partners. What an authentic accent there on me for a second. What I can. Delray's Red Sox, Johnny Gomes coming on. That would hurt in the pool, but it feels good in the outfield at Fenway, robbing Dustin Pedroia. Number four, we had Columbia, right? How about Argentina? Eduardo Romero, 16th hole, par five. As you know, Eagle boy name. He's in the house, 666. Right now, he's up three strokes on the field. Number three, Mets and Astros. John Main trying to get one down and instead pops it up in the air. Lance Berkman charging from first, makes the catch and able to double up Sean Green. More from this game shortly. After a pause, number two, Mets Astros, David <laughs> I said Wright. shortly. I know, I'm trying not to make a liar out of you. Luke Scott coming, coming, awesome. The Astros are going to lose 6-2, but there is maximum effort given by Luke Scott. Could have taken a longer pause. We have no more from this game. We may have something from Cubs National. Pause for poise. <laughs> Cubs and Nats at number one. Cesar is tourist. He pop in a foul territory. Ryan Zimmerman doesn't care. Fair or foul, he's making the grab. A rare highlight in the Nats' 4-2 loss.